What up, my gangsters? Yo, guys, what's up? This day, the Open Source Gangster here. So, nearly a year ago, I demonstrated how to run Backtrack 5 on your Android device. Fast forward a year later, and now a new distribution, designed to be successful at Backtrack, has took its place. And that's KLI Linux, or as I like to call it, KLE Linux. What's awesome is that KLI Linux is distributed for the ARM architecture, meaning that it'll run easily on your Android device. Now, to do this, all you need to have is a reader Android device and at least 4 gigabytes of free space available, and that's it. So, let's get it started. Alright, step 1. Download an app called Linux Deploy from the Google Play Store. This app automates the whole process so you practically don't have to do anything. After launching the app, you will be presented with a blank screen. Go to the download icon in the bottom right hand corner. From here, you will be presented with a properties window. Change the distribution to Kaylee Linux. Then scroll to the bottom where you will see VNC settings. Ideally, you will want to change the dimensions to match the resolution of your phone. Afterwards, you can scroll back to the top and hit install. This will begin a very long process of downloading the image and setting up the environment. I recommend that you do this over Wi-Fi. After the install is complete, go back to your properties window and select the reconfiguration option. This will apply your previous settings. Once the reconfiguration is complete, hit the start button. It will launch a VNC service and Kaylee Linux should be up and running. To access the GUI, download an app called Android VNC from the Play Store. After launching it, fill in the nickname area with whatever you want. The password is changeme. And set port to 5900. Optionally, you may set the color format to 4BPP for better quality. Finally, hit connect. And if all goes well, you should see something that reads Kaylee Linux. For those of you with USB host enabled devices, you can connect the keyboard and the mouse to your phone. Although it's very stripped down, you can easily go inside terminal and download any app or tool that you need, such as a software center. Performance on my quad core HTC One is extremely smooth, but your results may vary. Packet ejection most likely won't work, and that's purely due to drivers on the device. However, some people over at XDA Developers have been able to push a modified driver to a Nexus with Backtrack and make it work. And when you're ready to shut down, don't forget to go back to the Linux Deploy and hit Stop. That will shut down KLI Linux and save your battery life. And there you have it, KLI Linux. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But definitely try it out and have fun with it. Thanks for watching and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.